All right, Cameron. I'm going to turn this over to you. Okay. Hello. Hi. So today we'll be talking about the Burkina Faso Revolution. And to serve some background information, this happened in 2014. And um, it occurred because people in Burkina Faso um, were angry at the president, Blaise Campeore, who was ruling for 27 years. Um, and he was wanting to change the constitution, which made them angry, and they protested and rioted, and he stepped down. And so today we'll be debating on whether it was a political revolution or was it not. So, yes, may you start? Okay. So I believe that it was, yes, a political revolution. Even the people of Burkina Faso called it a revolution. And they were there to experience the actual thing, so obviously they know how it unfolded. Um, but, no. but based on the definition of a revolution, which is a forcible overthrow of a government in replacement for a new one, um, Blaze stepped down from power, it, but it wasn't forced. So He was actually in a position where he was forced to step down, in my opinion because people actually broke into his house and people tried to burn down buildings and obviously he would have been he was already in a lot of danger he would have been in even more danger if he had continued to rule so he had to step Can down you he really elaborate a bit more on that but oh. okay yeah so for example um parliament buildings were burnt down and it, this all happened in the span of like 3 days Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I mean, if he had gone any further, then he would have been in a lot of danger. So, yeah. But, um, Blaze had, he didn't, how was it forced if he accepted the, the new system? What well, new system? Sorry? Like, um, the system that was put in place after. Yes. Yeah, after they overrode the government, the citizens, a new system was put into place. It did take a little while for it to happen, but it didn't. It's actually currently going on. Are you waiting for me? So, no, your opinion. Well, but since the like revolution it has to go with revolving and going in like a circle, but after the revolution, the military had took, taken over, so... Yes, the military had taken over, but that's basically, like, it's, um, like, if a full circle is basically, it ends where it started, basically, right? So, I mean, the military, it was kind of the same thing, because the government didn't change much, just the rulers, not right away. So, yeah, I but mean, how are the military collected to place? Sorry? How are the he military connected? He, um, he gave them their jobs, and they worked for him until he, was, until he stepped down from the parliament. Exactly. So That's if they, true. But, if but they are different from him. Yeah. They are a bit different. Like, for example, there was one man one of the um, military men who actually, I think the general, who switched sides. But but he had appointed them, that's true. He did hire them. He gave them their jobs. All right, so any closing statements? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's Just a revolution. Just a point. Um, I think it's a revolution because I mean, even the people called it a revolution, and the government was overrode, and a new system was put into place, like the people intended. And yeah, there were lots of acts of violence as well, such as tear gas and burning down buildings. Well, um, for me, I still going by the definition. I still don't think it was a revolution because of how it wasn't necessarily forced. Can you elaborate?
elaborate a bit more? Um, well, as I said before, Blaze, um, well, Hal Sanukta said that he was in a position um, to step down, but that still doesn't mean he was forced to step down because he had the choice. Okay. I understand okay. where you're coming from. I still believe, yeah, it's not a revolution. I mean, it is a revolution. Sorry. Is that all? Any other information that you want to put forth? Um, no. Not really. All right, then. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good job, guys. You can uh, return.